Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the qualification finals that we recently had for NA's monthly $9,000 tournament. So you guys know how the World Championship works. There are eight different tournaments, eight different months, and there are three different days. So there's day one, which is the first day that kind of narrows it, the teams down to 16 final teams per region. And then there's day two, which gets teams qualified for the finals. And we had a very intense match Winner gets qualified for the $9,000 final and a shot at 50 points, and the loser would go home. So what we have for you guys today is that gameplay. It was very intense gameplay against some very, very good players. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened. So the first game is going to be Backyard Bowl. Now you guys know the format. It's a best of five sets, so the first team to win two games in a in, on a map they get that set and then you have to win three different maps in order to take the dub so they're going to be starting off with a double tank poco comp now you guys may know these players you guys might be subscribed to them if not make sure you guys go ahead and sub to them it's gonna be mali min wung and sky um three really good players three close friends they're a really good team so what they have is a triple tank comp which is going to be really difficult for us to beat. Now, we've been doing a pretty good job uh, when it came to hitting shots at the start, but they just have a lot of health. They're using their gadgets pretty early, and because of this, you know, they're doing a really good job at just moving up and trying to score on us. So we have OG over here on that side. He's going to jump forward. I'm not sure if that was necessarily the greatest play. I'd use my jump. Alex is going to be able to go over there clear the ball i'm actually going to be able to get a kill but unfortunately there's just no way og is going to be able to save this now he did use a gadget and that ball did get knocked right into mali which is extremely unfortunate for us but they're able to take that really quick one to nothing lead only a minute into the game and they have a huge counter comp this is not the comp that we were expecting from them minmoon goes super aggro so we suspect that he's pretty close to a super they're just going to pass the ball to mali over there we defend it pretty decently, but again, nothing we can do. He has a good shot, shoots it on OG's side, and he's able to score. And just like that, snap of a finger, they're up one to nothing in the first map. So we have to try and collect ourselves, try and get back into it. So let's hop into the second game, show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into the next game. So we switched it up. We decided to go with kind of the same comp, so a Brock and a Piper, but instead of a Mr. P, we're going to go for a B. Now, this is really good against range comps, but as well as we have that B in order to stop triple tank comps. Now, they don't go triple tank. They actually bring out the Mortis, which is something that I usually do. Um, they brought it out, and they played it pretty well, so we're able to get that Mortis laying down straight away. Uh, we're going to be able to also double tap the Pam, so it's a really good start for us. Now, but something that I know that Mortis likes to do, because I often play Mortis on this map, is he likes to bait out gadgets. Now, it's really important we don't go down and use gadgets at the same time. If we're going to use a gadget, we have to stay alive. So you guys saw over there, we were able to kill the Mortis straight away, and we're able to get a really quick goal, only about 40 seconds into the game. So this is a really good start for us. Um, now, they do switch lanes over here. Now, we probably should have switched at this moment, although if we did, we would have been really backed up. We don't want the B to be on Mortis. That's the worst thing possible. This guy gets a good tap over there on OG, and Mali's able to take out our, uh, our B. So I'm over here just chilling on the defense. Not much I can do. I'm able to get one of the kills over there. OG's actually able to make that save. We're able to get the kill, and we somehow how lucked out and they didn't score a goal now Alec gets that shot over there on sky sky is also another great player by the way he doesn't have a channel i know but he's a very op player now that play over there a little bit questionable probably you know well not probably was a very bad play for, for whatever reason i thought that minwing was in that right bush over there with the turret so if it wasn't that ball would have went in but clearly i did not you know play that right didn't think minwing was spawning so i just kind of wasted my super over there this guy's going to be able to take me down um right over here mally has the ball they're pushing up with one minute left we're in a really interesting spot and it's really hard for us to make a play right here mally's also an extremely seasoned mortis player he plays a ton of mortis as you guys know so it's really difficult for us to beat him i'm just going to shoot that ball up try and clear it as best as i can but unfortunately, you know, they just have so much coming at us right now. Alec tries to make the save. He's very close to doing so. But unfortunately, Minwung is able to get that goal and tie the game up at 1-1. One to one. So again, we're going to switch lanes at the start, but so are they. So they're going to they're gonna maintain that matchup with the Mortis on B, which is something we don't want. Um, and at this point, they're kind of just waiting for overtime. And so are we. We want overtime to happen. But unfortunately, they just get way too close. I get the ball. I'm able to clear it over there. OG's actually able to hit a really good snipe. Again, when you're facing Mortis, you can't go together. You guys have to be all separated and stuff because Mortis wants you guys to be together. Really good gadget over there by OG. And we somehow stay alive through this. Now, Alex able to get the kill over there on the Mort. It's a 4v or 3v2, sorry. So this is when we should have won the game. This is when we should pick it up. Sky is getting some really good taps. He's able to tap OG over there. Able to hit Alec as well. And OG is again. So Sky is just doing a fantastic job. But he's able to hit another shot. And unfortunately, Mali comes in with bats. 
Ma Sky hit too many shots. It's a really easy team wipe for Mali. And they're going to go and win this game and the Brawl Ball sets. So we're going to be down one to nothing in sets. This is kind of a huge wake up for us. These guys are a really good team, as we said. Um, and they definitely slapped us in Brawl Ball. So we're going to move on to the next set, which is going to be Gem Grab, Minecart Madness. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So we're going to decide that we have to go aggro. Now, um, you know, in the voice call, when we were deciding what comps we want to run, uh, we couldn't really decide exactly what we wanted to do. Um, we wanted to play it a little bit safe, but then, you know, I kind of spoke up a little bit. I said, why would we play it safe? You know, we, we're a good team. We know we're a good team. Let's go ahead. Let's keep things aggro. Let's push the pace. And that's exactly what we decided to do. So OG's going on B. OG's a fantastic B. Sandy is going to be played by Alec. And then I'm going to go on that more for a lot of aggro pressure. Now, I'm going to go down over there, um, but I'm also going to be able to get Minwoong low enough so that Alec's able to get that kill. Um, I don't necessarily have to stay alive. That's not necessarily my job. My job is kind of just to push them back, wreck havoc, you know, make them uncomfortable with where they are and everything. Mally's on my lane over here. Carl's really good on this map, but we're able to get that kill, luckily, which is really good. Alex's going to use his gadget, probably a, a decent gadget if positioned a little bit differently, but it was. I know Sky was healing over there, so we're just going to use that bats in order to cancel the healing. I'm going to go aggro on this Carl, and I mean, I knew I was going to go down over there. There was no way I can kill it, but I'm close to my bats. I'm keeping the Carl off of Alec and OG, which is all that really matters. So really well played right here. 8 to 1 in total gems. Um, unfortunately, this minecart is kind of backing us up right now and putting us in a really uncomfortable position. But Alec does have his super. He's going to lay it down. And right here, it's going to be pretty easy for Immortus during all this to make play. So I'm able to get one kill over there. Going to get a second kill on Minwoong. And Mali's actually going to be able to kill OG. But there's going to be nothing for him to do. There's no way he can escape. So I'm going to be able to get that kill over there. And I'm going to bring the gems right back to my spawn. 15 seconds left. There is not too much they can do. Um, and that one, that is going to be the game for the first one. So something that I noticed probably is our comp was definitely better. We ran B instead of Piper mid, although we usually Piper mid just because we were afraid of a triple tank comp. Um, and Alec did a really good job on lane. OG did a fantastic job in mid. And we're able to take this first gem grab set. One to nothing win. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into our second gem grab game. So they're going to switch it up and they're going to go Piper, Sandy, Carl, which is a really good comp, probably the best comp on this map. And we decide to go with a double tank Poco. Now it's not too like double tankish. We are throwing in a Carl instead of a tank. Carl isn't really by definition a tank. Uh, but he is a tankier unit and he's really good in this meta so we decided you know what why not let's make this work so we're doing a really good job sky would probably be the only way they can win this map if sky like, kind of pops off or if mali pops off and goes for the poco but the goal for them this game has to be to go for the poco because they can't be taking out myself and alec and expect to win the game it just takes them too long to take them out and meanwhile og can just pick up gems over here so i killed the mid alec killed his lane and we're doing really well it's currently five to nothing I got my super, Alex got his. I'm going to charge in over there and just try and stay aggro. It wasn't, you know, a guaranteed kill or anything, but I'm just trying to stay as aggro as possible. I get one of them low. Uh, I distract Sky, and Sky's just going to kind of move up in the mid and be really sneaky. Really good play by him. Um, Alex going to try and make a play. Unfortunately, he's going to go down, but we do have gems. We do have control, so we're not going to push anything too aggressively yet. I'm going to go into Mali, and again, kind of a risky play. I was hoping for the bump. I wasn't able to get the bump over there. But I was able to get enough pressure to get my super back, waste a little bit of time. So things are going pretty well. Now, it is 7-4 to four right now. The minecarts have been a little bit toxic to us this game. But this one kind of trapped Min Wung in our spawn. So we were able to get that kill. I see Sky over there doesn't have his super, so I try and get a roll. Unfortunately, he hits one shot and he's able to get a super straight away. I pick up a gem, but he just doesn't have enough shots to kill me. So I'm just going to walk back with it. And of course, they get that lucky RNG and the gem spawns all the way on that side. And of course, the minecart has to go on to our side and completely push us back when the gem spawns on our side so now they gain position solely based off of rng which just sucks um but you know it happens it's minecart probably happened to them the last game or something like that so who knows anyways minwoon gets trapped over here uh right upon us um right up on us sorry i'm able to just do dodge in or dive in sorry and get gems unfortunately i go down because they were kind of expecting that but alec does have super og is super and it's gonna be really easy for them just to get those kills now i'm just gonna stand in this bush kind of be a just like not a distraction but try and get the kills on who i think is going to be able to kill our teammates so i just take out sky over there Moon kind of gives up uh mally's trying to make a play but he knows it's over and that is going to be it for the gem set so it's going to be one to one 
very well played by both teams. Let's hop into the next set, which is Siege, and let's show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now, we're going to be playing some assembly required for Siege. Now, we are finally able to use Gene. This is the first time I was able to use Gene all tournament because all the teams started banning Gene against us. Uh, but we are facing Sky's Gene, who is one of the best Genes as well in the world. Shout out to Sky. He's an absolute god. Um, but we're also facing Sandy, which also does counter Gene because... You know, Gene is really good at pulling, but you know, if there's a Sandy Super, you don't know where they are and you can't really pull anyone. Now, OG is going to be on Barley. He's been playing a really consistent Barley the last couple uh, the last couple tournaments. He's been doing really well. So this has basically been our comp for Siege on every map almost. So things don't really start out too well. They get the first spot. They also have a three bolt advantage to our one. So it's not going well. Now we have to defend over here. Alec tries to get a Super off of Minwoom, not able to do so. But we're able to defend this pretty well. Kennedy's going to go for some shots on the safe. He's not going to be able to get one, though. And they only do 10% uh, damage. Now, I'm chilling over here. I, I see Sky has super. Sky sees I have super. So, we don't want to get too close to each other over here. Unfortunately, Frank does feed Alex super or er, Sandy super. So, they're able to just get that on the field. Sky wastes his super on Alec. Don't really think that was the pro play over there. Sky tries to sneak up on us. I see that he's doing so. So, I just get a really easy pull on him over there. Get two like kind of two-thirds of my super back and sky's gonna go down so that was definitely a good trade now we do have good positioning over here but unfortunately they're gonna get the bot again now although it is unfortunate it does kind of work out for us actually because we are gonna have a pretty big bolt lead going into the next round alex also able to get a kill which is really good i tried to get a bolt but unfortunately sky was just one shot which i didn't know to a super um so he was able to take us out really easily again sky really good gene so it is really tough to go up against him he's gonna get a really good pull on us over there um, and OG's gonna be on that lane versus Kennedy. Now, it's really important we get one kill or win one lane over here. Now, I knew Sky would have super, and I knew he's playing aggro, and he was kind of like feeling himself because he's played well. So I went forward and I kind of just juked back, just knowing in my head that he had super. And that kind of, I think, won us this bot because if I got pulled, I don't think we would have been able to do anything. I pull Sky through a bolt so that he delivers us the bolt, and I'm able to get our only two bolts of this final round, which is gonna secure us the final bot. Now, all we have to do is 40% damage. We have a Frank with super and a Barley with super, so it shouldn't be too hard. I pull him in wound so we can't defend into our zone. And now it's looking pretty good. So Sky's either going to try and pull um, our Barley or the bot. So I just go for the pull on Sky. Alec was going for the super on Sky. I don't really know why Alec decided that that was the play. I think he should have just supered the safe. But either way, doesn't really matter. We're going to end up winning this game, even though they did have position for most of the game just due to our defense. But anyways, that's going to be it for the first game. Let's hop into the second one. And again, let's show you guys the game too and show you guys what happened. Now going into the next game, we're going to keep the same comp and so are they. I guess both teams were happy with how they played. The thing with their comp is that it's actually really, really good when it comes to mid control, but it isn't really the greatest for defense or for offense. It's just really good for holding mid control. Alex able to get that first ball, uh, bolt over there. We have some good area denial right here with myself and OG. We're able to get that kill on Kennedy. This is going to allow us to get the first bolt. Alec just tanking shots over there. Although charging Sandy Super, he is getting bolts. We're going to get all four bolts in the first round. And it's going to be a first round bot for us. So I'm going to pull him in. Woom going to be able to get that kill and be only one shot off my Super. Alec's going to be chilling right over here. Sky does have Super, which obviously we have to keep an eye on Sky. I'll go for the pull over there so that Sky wouldn't be able to pull the bot. But I do miss it. Now, Alex is just going to go for a few shots on that bot. I'm able to take out Sky there with my gadget and with a few shots. Um, and we're going to do some pretty good damage. 34%. I'm going to pull Kennedy as well. And this is going to be a really good start for us because we also have the 2 0 lead going into the next siege. So, all we really have to do is hold position and we're going to be fine. So, as you guys can see, you know, holding position really well. Sky tries to pull Alec again. Again, I don't really recommend pulling a Frank when you know he has gadgets. Some Franks just let you pull and don't want to waste the gadgets, but. Some Franks don't, some Franks stop you, and that's exactly what Alec did over there. So again, we have the position right now. We got a really lucky bolt spawn with the one on the bottom left, as I don't think it mattered, but it just gave us an, an extra bolt, kind of like a comfort zone, and it's going really well over here. So again, another missed pull by myself. Didn't really play my greatest um, in this game, but we do have another uh, bot. You know, we only have to do 66% damage, so we decide right when we get the bot that we're going to go in 100%. We're going to try and do as much damage as possible. OG gets a super on the safe, so does Alec. And that is going to be a little bit too late for the other team. And we're going to be able to win this game. So we're going to take the Siege set, which is going to make it 2-1 to one against Cosmos Esports. And again, it's a 1st to 3. Next up, we have Canal Grande, which is a bounty map. So hopefully we can take that one home. Because we really don't want to go into play Heist. Because Heist is kind of random. So anyways, let's hop into the next game. And again, let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so going into this game, 
We are at zero, zero going into bounty, but two to one in set lead. So we decided to go with a really, really wild comp. It's going to be Poco, Daryl, and Gene. So we have Gene just because Gene is Gene. I love playing Gene. Gene's really good in, on this map. Then the Poco, Daryl to kind of just prepare to face tanks. Now, we actually were pretty happy with this comp and in, in the comp that they were running. We we're able to get a kill over there on Mali. Now, something that's really important is the way I use my gadgets. And I did waste a gadget over there, which isn't something we really want to do. Now, unfortunately, that's two gadgets that I used. My only two gadgets within the first, I think it was 26 seconds. That's really not what we want to do. There is a Rosa over here. So I'm just going to pull this Rosa when Alex spawns. We're going to be able to get that kill. And it's 6-3 to three right now. It's actually looking really good. Alex is going to try and go on to Sky. He's going to be able to do some damage. We almost kill Sky over here, but Alex is going to go down at one shot. And Sky is going to go... And just run away with like 200 hp so now we have a tie about one minute into the game alec has super and he's just gonna go in again now that obviously isn't really the strat because you know it's, it's pretty obvious you don't just want to dive into a bunch of people um but anyways he does it anyways and i go for a blind pull i'm gonna hit the rosa and the rosa had super and the poco had super so there was no way i was killing a rosa so we're only down one we only really need one kill to pick up this win now I, again i'm gonna go for a blind pull on them um, I'm going to pick up that Rosa again. So pulling the Rosa, not really the best strat. Alec rolls in. That would have worked. That would have done a lot of damage. It probably would have given us the lead. Except Alec does go down because the Rosa again had super. And the Poco again also had super. Now I go for another blind pull. I'm not able to hit it that time. It's a little bit random when you go for those blind pulls. So now we're down three kills. We got to try and get this win. Alec goes for the dive. Again, they have a combination of supers. This time between Carl and Poco. Um, and unfortunately, we're just not able to take it. I missed that pull over there on Sky, and that's going to kind of just wrap up this game. There was nothing we really could have done, even though I killed their unit with the most stars, Mali. There was no way we could have won this game. Um, looking back on it, it probably we probably had a chance, and if we could play it again, we might be able to win. It wasn't a complete, necessarily, counter comp by them. But, you know, we just pulled at the wrong times, went in at wrong times, and unfortunately, we lost this game. So, they're going to go up one to nothing in the bounty set. So, let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. So, going into this game, we actually missed three games. So, the game that we won, that was the next game, which tied the setup at one to one. Our replays aren't working, unfortunately, so I can't show you. And then we drew back to back games. So, for the sake of this video, it's almost 20 minutes long. We're not going to show you guys four extra minutes of gameplay that just isn't doesn't count for anything that's it's just going to be a tie so we're just going to go into the final game that's going to be the final bounty game um and so basically what we have here is after i think this is what our sixth game or our fifth game of bounty we've decided that everyone's just going to kind of run like a kind of middle comp so no one's really going to go tank but no one's going to go anti-tank and no one's going to go thrower but we're all going to have a thrower like we all had kind of one piece of every comp because you didn't want to get countered by a rock paper scissors matchup so it's one nothing right now unfortunately i can't go gene on gene plus a tick on their side with uh with sky he's too good of a gene to try and 2v1 them um so i have to retreat and move on to that right side um og and alec are doing a great job with mr p and m's although their brock is hitting a lot of shots they're both one shot over here og has 28 hp um but he's able to escape. I'm going to go near him. So I give him those 400 heals per second, which is my gene star power. And Alec also stays alive. So it's going pretty well right now. A minute into the game. And the only score whatsoever is just that first star. Now I'm going to try and make a pull. But just as I pull, like the, se the millisecond before I go for a pull, Minwoong does use his gadget. Really good play by Minwoong. So he's able to stay alive over there. We have them backed up. Sky also missed the super. So genes aren't really too close to their super. So what I'm trying to do now is just get close to it. Try and hit some shots on Minwoong. I was pretty low here, but he didn't hit me or anything like that. And I actually got two pretty juicy shots over there. A couple actually. So I'm going to be pretty close to super. Sky's going to be one shot. He's going to stay alive. A lot of people are one shot and very close to dying in this game. Um, but, but didn't actually die. So 17 seconds left. They have to go aggros. They need a kill or else they lose the, the entirety of the set and lose the round and the entire match so i move back i know minwoong's out of frame so i just hide in the bush when he expects me to be all the way in my spawn i get a really easy pull on him as he's, he's unsuspecting he's just walking a straight line and that's going to wrap up the game that is going to be the one kill of the final game and that is going to be it so we're going to be able to beat cosmos esports three to one and move on to the finals now on the other side of the bracket omen also moved on to the finals so we're going to be facing them in august and then there was a third place game where the guys you just saw minwoong mali sky and kennedy also moved on to the finals as they won the third place game against the snacks so congrats to them obviously we're going to be seeing them in the finals in august 
And again, we're going to be competing for that $9,000 then. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I noticed you guys have been really enjoying the esports related videos, the scrim videos. So again, if you guys want to see them, I'll try my best to produce more esports content. But anyways, that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.